Greetings and salutations, my esteemed guests and my beautiful subscribers. It is me, LL here, and today I'm going to be doing a review that is long overdue out of the SenseCap M1 Helium Miner. And those who don't know what Helium is, to give you a very quick rundown, Helium, as their own blockchain, as they like to call themselves, is a people-powered network consisting of multiple IoT devices on people's homes, workplaces, and schools, wherever you can basically plug them into an internet. And through this, they are creating this decentralized wireless infrastructure. So basically, devices all around the world are able to connect into this low-power network and basically offer coverage for billions of people all around the world. And these are not a basic machines, they're not GPUs, these are not CPUs, these are IoT miners, so they're not using massive amounts of electricity, they are mostly silent, at least mine are, and also they just use a little bit of your internet data, that depends on if there's usage in your area, but most of the time, little to nothing. Now, so there are very eco-friendly devices. Now, there are many different manufacturers. Helium in the beginning had their own. There's Nebra, there's Popcat, which I also own, uh, Synchrobit, and etc. And there's different availability on these devices. So if you want to buy one right now, you might have to wait for months unless you find like a second hand or something like that. Now, I've heard that SenseCap is one of the fastest uh, to deliver right now, so in case you're looking for something, you might want to go with SenseCap. Now in this review, I want to kind of like, you know, bring down my experience as I've used it since November. And, you know, kind of like explain you a bit about the reward system and everything. So let's kind of go a bit on the specs. So they have a couple of models here. Remember that there are models which are tailored towards the different regions. So there's American model and there's also an European model. So here they talk about, you know, handy setup. So this is extremely easy to do. So you basically unpack the device, download the application to your phone, and then you use the phone to basically connect through Bluetooth into the device. And voila, you are basically connected and you are earning Helium as, uh, you know, a miner. And there's automatic upgrades, so you don't really need to do anything. Sometimes you might have been required to reset the device but uh, that is not even required most of the time. Remote diagnosis, 64 uh, gigabytes of large storage here, so I guess that's good. I don't know if like there's some other devices which are lower, um, you know, so there they talk about fulfilling the memory requirement of potential upgrades. So in case in future, there's gonna be more requirements on having devices which are gonna be requiring more large storage an efficient cooling solution. So it's a bit hot, obviously, because it's blocked in 24 hours. Um, but for most of the part, the device is silent um, and it's, you know, a bit warm, like most of those devices usually are. But for the most part, it's very compact. It also comes out with its own um, antenna. A bit about the antennas later on in this video. And here it's talking about the LoRaWAN technology, Ethernet, and yada, yada, yada. Now, Let's get into um, my consensus about the map. So here, here we can like explore all the Helium devices that exist in the network right now. And there's the current market price for Helium. Um, how many validators, how many devices. So we are closing to 1 million devices, more devices that are coming in. Obviously it's gonna be reducing the rewards across the board. Um, the market price is not necessarily reacting to the supply that much, sadly. Now, the, the, the whole thing about this Helium thing, which I'm going to be emphasizing with this review and the one that I will be doing about Bobcat later, is the fact that the performance that you're going to be seeing is going to be varying extremely a lot based on to your location. So here we have a person that has made... 17 H and T on, you know, on, on a month. And that is um, very, very impressive. That is 196. So the device roughly costs uh, for me after my coupons and everything was $454. Um, this one is using rack wireless. So it's using a different device that I am, I am using. 
So if we will put like uh, the HRR, you know, this is like 500% APR that he's basically making per year. So it's going to be breaking even in two months and well, 2.2 months, which is in insane. Now there are some devices, let's say, let's uh, pick out a more, uh, you know, a different area here. So here we have other people and you can see that in this area where it's more populated, there's more devices in your uh, own circle that's going to be having an impact on the earnings that you're going to be making. But here, like there are people who have made, so that guy made 18, there's one person that has made zero uh, HNT. There might be a chance that the, okay, the device is, is closed, but you know, some people are making very, very low sums and you can also compare yourself against the average. Some people are making the case that there's going to be huge differences uh, between the devices. So here, for example, we have an old helium device and it has made uh, zero, 36 cents in the whole month, which is very, very abysmal for the RYI, which let's put that again there. So 435, did I put the number right? Yeah, so that's the RYI, they're basically 3,655 months to basically recoup your investment. So um, there are cases where you're really, really um, fucked by the situation. Now, the obviously what people are wondering, well, what is your situation? So let's open up my uh, stats here. So I made five bucks in the last 30 days. Um, it's been one of the better performing months, but fundamentally, like, I've only made two helium. Two helium only. And in my spot, there used to be um, nobody near me, like, when I started. So there's more devices here. Um, and we're talking about 14% APR. So uh, we're talking about, like, I don't know, that is around six months or something, or six years, sorry. There's 18 one month, so what is that? Uh, three, no, there's a lot of months, a lot of years, okay, to basically recoup my investment. So it's not necessarily the fault of the device to have an impact on the price. Um, we also have to remember that there are still people who want to buy those devices, so you can maybe farm for six months, and even if you make $50, you can still sell your helium miner for the actual purchase price. So I can probably get a person to buy my helium miner for that 460 that I bought it with and then walk away with like the 2.2 helium that I made over these course of, what is it, eight months. Now, um, I'm not very happy about the performance that I'm making. Neither is my other helium miner doing really well. Um, there is obviously people around me who have made also very significant gains. So you have to be, I guess, uh, if you can put it into balcony or some very visible area. The altitude also makes a difference. And, you know, there are a lot of, you know, variables that really go into what, you know, makes out the valuation. Now, there's also... Now, if people want to buy, you know, the device, you can get a pretty good price right now from the Helium hotspot. For the full disclosure, there is my referral link down below. So you will be helping me out uh, in case you're going to be buying. But also, you can buy um, antennas. And these antennas give you a different range. So certain, like, very long antennas give you more like a circular, you know, radius for your... Um, thing and some are like some are giving you more like a cone thing so the good thing about these miners is that as you can see as you saw on the clip uh, on the screen is that the antenna is detachable so I can basically put out any other uh, antenna there which you know fits into just get a little screw in and plug it in very easy and that can give you a different performance or different earnings but I tried a different um, you know uh, you know, cable, but it didn't really, or antenna, sorry, it didn't really give out the performance I was looking for. Uh, I didn't really compare too much. Was it making less money or more money? But fundamentally, like, I feel currently, if I, you know, people are talking about, should I get into buying a helium miner as of right now? My answer would be, is that if you have multiple locations, where you can put the mine machine in 
and try it out for good earnings. That's a very, that would, I would say yes, you should do that because the RYI can be very, very fast. You know, you can reach the RYI very, really fast. But if you are like locked into that, you can only put it in your own home, then you are in a situation where you, you might go into this, you know, area which doesn't have other, you know, devices near, nearby you to get witnessed and all these types of things. And there's a lot of algorithmic changes on these, you know, miners being done and there's like votes and everything. So um, if I'm moving, when well, I've been planning to move from my house, so th there might be a chance that in the next home that I'm in, there might be a much more significant earning potential due to the setup or the height or all of these other metrics that play into it. So fundamentally, the way I see this thing is that you are less in a problematic situation uh, as, as in terms of an investment if you have multiple locations where you can bring the device, whatever it's your job, your, your school, or you can put your parents home, your friends home, and you give them a small cut. But basically, the location matters way too much uh, than the actual device or the antenna. There are obviously uh, devices which also support 5G, and in the future there might be uh, some split up. I think I remember actually reading about that the 5G people will be getting a different uh, form of H&D &H &D currency. So, um, remains to be seen, but I kind of like what they're building in terms of technology, but they have to find out ways where the helium is going to be having a use case where there's going to be businesses and different things that are going to be buying, um, you know, th this money in terms of like all the IOT miners that I have right now, in theory, the, um, helium is making the less, least amount of money out of all that I have right now. Obviously, the Planet Watch that I owned is now decommissioned, which is really bad luck there. But the fundamental fact is that if you find that good location, it, it can also be like maybe we can go back and uh, let's let's find the, um, the number here. So if we can find like the uh, network average, we can also measure what is the potential earning curve here. So let's go into uh, some random place in UK. So obviously like more popular places have shit ton more miners here. As you can see, there's so many here in London. Um, so this one has made, um, so here you can see the network averages. There should be. So the network average is 0 0.08 HNT. And so it's like 11 bucks. So you're talking about dollar per day. So we are talking about like roughly, even if you would make the network average, your RYI would be probably in 15, 16 months, which is not bad given to the fact that even after that, you can sell the device. There's going to be a lot of buyers who are going to be interested in that. But if you're going to be performing above the network average, then you're going to be, you know, still making a fair amount of money. So I don't really know, is there like a bias towards into London areas or American areas? Um, but, but here, once again, like with this, this one, you know, 450 and the price that I showed you earlier is much better. So that was around like what, 299 euros, which is around uh, 320. Uh, so we are talking about pretty good APRs here for these machines. But once again, I really want to emphasize on the fact that this is really, really much about the location because based on my research and my foundings, it's not about the device, it's about the location. But that's pretty much my uh, review out of the um, Helium SenseCap M1, M1 Miner. Um, I don't know if the other device, let me see. This is like the more newer model. So perhaps this one is going for different price and maybe the antennas are stronger or something like that. But you wanna really compare that, th this one and maybe ask around. Obviously most of these uh, Helium Miner sites have their own discords where you can get a lot of information about them and a lot of strategies and a lot of data about, you know, what you should do. And you can always change the location of the device in your home. And this allows you to maybe, you know, get more better access or better, you know, proof of coverage or whatever. If it's like, you know, inside a box or somewhere blocked area, it might be performing a lot worse. But thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video. You can find all the necessary links down below. And stay tuned for more Helium videos and obviously other IoT stuff on the channel. I'll see you soon.